You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of the Royal Rumble 2018 edition. Yeah. So things were a little different here. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. They decided to put the men's rumble in the middle of the card. Yeah. And have the women's main event. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we did predictions last week. Mm-hmm. And we did that before any matches were added to the pre-show. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had no idea what Yes, the... I think they were added Friday morning or mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. So um, they, what was it? Uh, they had a cruiserweight six-man tag. Yep. Which was Kalisto, Grand Metalik, and Lince Dorado versus TJP, Jack Gallagher, and Drew Gulak. Mm-hmm. We did not watch this match, or... I saw it. Oh, you you saw were it. getting food. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, was, it had a couple decent spots here. Yeah, nothing particularly interesting, I'm sure. No, just the triple moonsault off the uh, turnbuckle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, was, yeah, that was a cool that. spot. Uh, not a surprise here. The uh, faces went over. Mm-hmm. And it was a six-man cruiserweight tag. What can we say? Yeah. The arena was still pretty empty at this point. Yeah, well, it was, what, at 5.15? 5.30 at <laughs> latest, yeah. <coughs> Something like that. <coughs> And then we had the Revival versus The Club, mm. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. A rematch from Monday. Yeah. Um, this went the other way, mm-hmm. the Revival stealing a victory. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how the match ended because we were eating dinner at this time. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it wasn't. Unfortunately, it wasn't really part of our, uh, it didn't pique our interest too much. Not really. Because there's no. there was no meaning behind the match. It was just a. It's true. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, after that, at the end of the pre-show, we had uh, Bobby Roode with the U.S. Open Challenge, mm-hmm. and the person to answer the challenge was uh, Mojo Rawley, apparently. Yeah. The person who he beat to uh, get to the finals, I think. I think that was it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, because it, yeah. it was the semifinals because Mojo had beaten uh, Zach Ryder in, mm-hmm. the, in the, I guess, the first match. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This match happened. That's about yeah. Well, it was not much any, not really much different than uh, their match. No, on SmackDown. it was very slow and and it kind of ended very abruptly mm-hmm. with a glorious DDT and yeah. that was about it. So Rude retains his title in a match that shouldn't, shouldn't surprise anybody. No, not at all. No. So we open the Royal Rumble pay per view with the WWE Championship match. Yes. With uh, AJ Styles defending against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in a mm-hmm. handicap match. Yes. Uh, this match started out very slow. Mm-hmm. Um, they gave it more time than I had expected. Yeah, well, the beginning of the match was before anything actually started. Kevin and Sammy tagged each other in and out a few times. Mm-hmm. I guess to, I guess to show off that they could. Yeah, maybe to AJ. Mm-hmm. Um, also, there was some speculation that uh, Owens wasn't wrestling a whole lot because of an injury. Yeah. Um, apparently, that might not be a hundred percent the case because of what he did during this match. Yeah, I, I would say this. <laughs> Say that is true, and yeah. like I said, he wrestled on the house show last night. So. They said it was in a cage match I against Styles. I believe that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but, but yeah, this, this was a good match. Though. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing to complain about. Really, yeah. AJ it was, was uh, on point, more or mm-hmm. less. It was nice to have the absence of any authority figure. Yeah, the the lack of Shane and Daniel Bryan involvement was definitely nice. Yeah, it was just the three three of the best wrestlers on SmackDown. In a match, mm-hmm. which is always nice to see. Yeah. Um, However, this is not over. Oh, no. Definitely not, because of the way the match ended. Yeah. Um, Since apparently that's the way we do things when AJ and uh, Kevin Owens are in matches together. We yeah. have screwy finishes. Pretty much. Regardless if it's Shane or somebody doesn't do the right spot or yep, anything yep, yep. like that. All right. So uh, basically what had happened, mm-hmm. um, AJ was trying to prevent Sami Zayn from tagging in, right? Yeah, yeah, he was holding him. Oh, no, t- yeah, tagging out, out. because yeah, yeah. Owens was on the outside. Mm-hmm. Um, so Owens is, like, trying his best to make it so that Sami can't reach him because, yeah. <laughs> obviously, he wasn't supposed to tag him. Um, so AJ gets Sammy away. Yeah, and at this point, Mike Kyoto is not even. It was Kyoto that was. Yeah, Kyoto ran away. He, he like, ducked under him like, and walked away. I don't want to see this. Yeah, I don't exactly. want to see this. Um, and then Sammy gets thrown on the outside. Mm-hmm. Kevin comes in, yep. hits, goes for the pop up power bomb. No, he hits. Oh yeah, no, he no, goes no. And for the then pop-up AJ power. reversed it, rolled him up, and the Pinned ref him. counted to three, mm-hmm. and he retained the title by not pinning the legal yeah. man. And uh, Owens goes, "I wasn't the legal man." Yeah. So they were arguing outside the ring, mm-hmm. uh, and then we go backstage, and 
it's the two of them and Shane McMahon, and they're arguing. Well, they're actually yelling at Shane, telling yeah. him what happened. It's like, did you see that match? Did you see what happened? Mm-hmm. And Shane just replies with, yep, yep. and walks away. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure we will get more on that on Tuesday. Of course. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. So up next, we had the SmackDown Tag Team Championship mm-hmm. with the Usos defending against Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin in a two out of three falls match. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, this didn't go how I thought it would go. No, be. it did not go at all how I thought as well, considering yeah. we had the same prediction. Yeah. Um, so, surprisingly enough, the Usos actually won with a sweep. Mm-hmm. They uh, got both pins on them. This is actually a very long to get to the first fall. Yeah. yeah. It's just surprising. I don't know how long the match lasted. It was probably a good 20 minutes, I would assume. It, it was close to that. Yeah. Um, and uh, what was it? The double super kick on Gable? That was the first yeah, pin? Yeah, yeah, They did, like, the meet in the middle with the mm-hmm. super kick. Yeah. yeah. And then the second one, I believe, was just the was frog, the frog splash? splash. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He rolled them up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So that was the second time in yeah. the night that uh, there was a roll-up victory. Right. Um, um, but, yeah, no, it's just because we had thought that Benjamin and Gable were going to win. Yeah, it's starting to look like they're not going to get a shot or yeah. get a chance for so the title. So seeing them split up wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities. Yeah, well, there's there's just not enough, like, singles wrestlers now. They're teaming everybody together. Well, it's true. And if they have singles wrestlers, they're not getting time. No, not really. But. So hopefully uh, if there is a split, it works out for them. Mm-hmm. All right, so up next we have uh, the main attraction of the show. Yeah. Uh, this was the 30-man men's Royal Rumble, which we were kind of surprised to see go on in the middle of mm-hmm. the show. And it did exactly what we kind of figured it was going to do with it being in the middle of the show and kind of deflated the crowd. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, the, the next two matches, the crowd was dead. Yeah. But no, no, overall, this was a, a fantastic Royal Rumble. Oh, no, it was really, it was yeah. really entertaining. Yeah. Um, <laughs> They just did a lot of, I don't know, entertaining stuff. Like you mm-hmm. said, it was just, it, it kept you wanting to know what was going on next. Mm-hmm. The crowd was super into it every time. Yeah, every was, time the countdown started, every everyone on the hard camera stood up and mm-hmm. looked at the entrance. Yeah. Uh, we opened with uh, Rusev and uh, Finn Balor. Yeah. Um, uh, before the show had started, they had talked about how um, – the winner of the Royal Rumbles could challenge whichever champion they would like, mm-hmm. which kind of opened up the possibility of seeing some cross um, tr- brand right. uh, action. Yeah, which uh, I had thought we could see Finn versus AJ a rematch yeah, Finn, for the title. Finn and AJ would make sense, mm-hmm. and it kind of opened up the possibilities with the women's match, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the main one would be Finn and AJ. That would be the one that makes the most sense. Absolutely. Um, so, but yeah, the two of them both actually lasted a decent amount of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Finn was in it towards the end. Yeah. Close to 60 minutes. He went 57 yeah, minutes. Yeah. He I was, believe. he was almost an hour in. Yeah. I think, uh, I, th- I believe that I, I think Rusev made about halfway, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was, elim- uh, he was eliminated 12th, Okay. but I think there was already a good amount more. But, yeah, there, yeah, there was yeah, a number, chunk of time yeah. where a lot of people were in the ring. Yeah, he, he was eliminated after number 20 was already in. Mm. So, um, uh, a, a, a thing of note, uh, Baron Corbin came in and pretty much just laid out mm-hmm. um, Rusev and Finn Balor after he got eliminated. Right. Um, and what was he, number five, four? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, so... He basically, what he did was gave, I guess, them a shot to rest yeah, a little bit. They, yeah. He he made himself look dominant. Mm-hmm. And, and then as he was going back up the ramp, the fifth entrant came out, mm-hmm. and that was Heath Slater. Yep. So he beat him down. And, oh, no. All he did was hit him oh, once. Oh, yeah, he hit him once. Right, yeah. He hit him <laughs> with a clothesline or something. Yep. And so this was this went on for, what, five, ten entrances? It was a they while. Probably, yeah. Um, but, yeah, basically every uh, person who Six. came down to the ring... Uh, attacked him before he actually entered the ring. Mm-hmm. It was Bray Wyatt who eventually... No, it wasn't no, no, Bray Wyatt. It, it was Sheamus. Sheamus. Sheamus throws him in the ring, and Sheamus was the 11th entrant. Yeah. And as he throws him in the ring, they get into it, and he throws him right out. Yep. 
Sheamus being yeah, Sheamus, the person yes. who got thrown out. So Sheamus mm-hmm. was in the match for all of two seconds, maybe. Something like that. Um, the number 10 spot this year actually went to Ty Dillinger again. Mm-hmm. Um, but instead of Ty being entered, he gets attacked from in the back by Zane and uh, Owens. Mm-hmm. And Sami Zayn ends up taking his spot. And Sami actually lasted a decent amount of time. Yeah. Um, we had two NXT... Entrance, re- Entrance, yes. yes. We had... Uh, Andrade Cien Almas mm-hmm. and Adam Cole. Yeah, the Adam Cole one was definitely the most surprising mm-hmm. one. And I think Andrade lasted almost a half hour, they said. Yeah, he was in there he for was a in long there for, time. Yeah. Um, uh, other notable entries were we had we saw... Um, the Hurricane. The Hurricane came back, <laughs> I guess, kind of. And we also saw Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Which was definitely surprising, considering yeah. that... There's been rumors going on for months now if he was going to Impact or he was going to WWE. I was going to say, also, not too long ago, he pretty much just said blatantly that he had no interest in coming mm-hmm. back to the WWE. Yeah. So, And now with the general manager of 205 Live open and two former Cruiserweight champions. Well, yeah, well. The Hurricane right, Yeah, yeah. But so there's always a possibility that. One of the two not, come yeah, back. This is Although, not just a one-time thing. I think if Ray came back, he would be a wrestler, not a general Probably. manager. So yeah. that's just what I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, basically, we got to the final four. Yep. A final four that featured John Cena, Roman Reigns, mm-hmm. Shinsuke Nakamura, and, and Finn. And Finn Bella. No, Finn Balor wasn't in the final four. He was, was he? Oh, yeah, no, nope, yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I yeah, thought I was going to say. Because I was going to say all four people okay. left in the final four as ones was we had. The last, the yeah, he was one. fifth. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah, that's right. Three of the people we picked, mm-hmm. and one of them we didn't want to win. <laughs> Got it. It's not even that we didn't want him to win. It's just it would be too predictable. Yeah. Um, Which is funny because both Rumbles ended up being the favorites, really. Oh, yeah. To win. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Finn is the first one eliminated of mm-hmm. the final four. Yep, John he gets Cena. eliminated by John Cena. Yeah. Um, and then it's uh, Cena goes out to Nakamura. Mm-hmm. And then so we have Roman Reigns and Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, and the crowd was definitely sitting on their hands at oh, this yeah. point. Because they were like, oh, crap, here we go it's again. Gonna it's going to happen. Gonna happen. It's oh. going to happen. Also, at number 30, we had Dolph Ziggler come yes. back, which was very underwhelming. I don't really well, care. The crowd got a decent. No, they pop. cared. Yeah. I didn't care. Oh, oh fair enough. Um, I don't understand uh, what why they it couldn't did. have been Kenny Omega. Um, anybody, because <laughs> the what they're doing with Dolph Ziggler makes no sense. I I honestly don't understand it. Yeah. Um, and it would have been nice just to have someone who. Uh, anybody. <laughs> I would have preferred him come back for the U.S. title challenge yeah that, that, that would have but i mean he kind of made it seem like the u.s title is beneath him and i guess but then maybe it would the storyline could have been he wanted to just continue to prove himself well, like that yeah. he's the best right or he him. could have said this past tuesday that i'm going to be in the royal rumble because you know that would also title work is, too it's, it's below me yeah so uh up next yep um oh, oh yeah we kind of skipped uh nakamura obviously yeah <laughs> Um, he was the favorite in to win. Yes. And the crowd was very happy mm-hmm. that Reigns did not win again. Yeah. Um, but like we spoke about in our predictions video, that we do expect Reigns to win at the Elimination Chamber in mm-hmm. some sort of fashion where it will be him versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yes. yes. At WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, after the match, Shinsuke gets approached by Renee Young uh, in the ring. He's asked who he wants to face at WrestleMania, and he picks AJ Styles, Yep, which isn't a huge surprise. No. Although, technically speaking, uh, no matter who he picked, there it would be a rematch of a match that mm-hmm. he had in Japan. It's true. So, Because uh, he fought Lesnar a long time ago, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. AJ is definitely the bigger draw here between him and Nakamura. Besides, Lesnar's already busy at WrestleMania. It's true. So That's true. All right, so actually up next. Mm-hmm. We had um, Daniel Bryan and uh, Shane McMahon doing the yes chant because yes. a SmackDown roster member had won the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of pans over and shows Stephanie and Kurt sitting there like all, looking all sad. Yeah. Um, and then but they said that Raw is still going to do great tonight and we're yeah. going to win the other Rumble. And there's mm-hmm. still the other two Raw matches to uh, to happen. Yeah. So. so up next, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship. With- yes. Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan defending against the bar, 
And this match, unfortunately, fell in a terrible spot. Oh, yeah. The crowd was dead the whole it, time. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't blame them at all. No. Well, it was a good Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. it, there was so much excitement. Mm -hmm. And a winner that they cared about. So. Right. Yes. They weren't going to riot. Mm -hmm. So, um, basically, the story of this match was uh, it was basically a handicap match. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Jordan got knocked into the ring post from the outside very early on. And yeah. And he pretty much couldn't compete for the rest of the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there had been rumors that he's been kind of kept off TV in a wrestling fashion mm -hmm. because of a back injury. Mm -hmm. So, I think this kind of confirms it. Well, yeah. Um, so... Basically, it was Seth against the bar. Seth, mm -hmm. at a, a several points, showed that he almost got the upper hand. Yeah. Um, but it's... the fact that it was two on one kind of got the best of him. Mm -hmm. um, at one point, Jason Jordan finally gets up to the <laughs> to the ring. Yeah, and Seth is down in the corner, mm -hmm. so Jason tags himself in, goes in, starts holding his head, gets a little wobbly, mm -hmm. and tags Seth back in. Seth's like, "What the hell are you doing? Yeah, just got my ass kicked for ten minutes." Yep. And, and then, uh, Jason goes and walks down the steps and kind of just plants his ass there and sits down. Yep. And then Seth uh, gets the white noise, right? There's the, well, uh, yeah, he gets a bro combo. kick, and then he gets the, the top rope yeah. white noise thing. And yeah. the bar is your new tag team champions. Four yeah. times, right? Is that what they yes, said? Yes, the four-time champions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's uh, that. It's true. Um, yeah, we kind of figured it was only a matter of time before they dropped the titles. Yeah, we just didn't think it was this soon, but... If he's injured, if he it is, makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the rumor was that uh, Seth and Jason Jordan were going to have a match at WrestleMania. Which is still possible. Oh, it's absolutely. It's just a matter of if Jason Jordan's able to wrestle mm -hmm. by then. And they at least have some backstory for it if they pick it up in a month or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it could be like a over-the-summer mm -hmm. feud or something. All right, so up next, we have the triple threat match for the Universal Championship. Yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar defending against Braun Strowman and Kane. Mm-hmm. Um, this kind of was what was expected. Yeah. I, four, Three big men, and you know, I mean... Four, they actually didn't book this terribly because they put a match that they knew nobody was going to care about in right. a spot where they knew that no one was going to care about the match. And there was tables. Yes, it's true. They cared about that. Mm -hmm. um, because just Braun Strowman, Kane, and Brock Lesnar is not... Yeah, I mean, they were trying to do their best to hype it, but mm -hmm. it... It just, there was mm -mm. It's, there's not a whole lot going it, on. Especially on a pay-per-view with two Royal Rumbles. Well, that's, that's what I mean, though, because yeah. they, they took... Because if you try to put on a great match, you kind of have risk the, the chance of like it getting overlooked mm. by the the rumble right. which it was and even though i picked stroman because i wanted to be different i mm -hmm. think everybody knew that lesnar was going to retain here. yeah definitely wasn't a surprise yeah um but yeah there was a couple of table spots mm -hmm. uh actually there's a Braun few, put, quite a few brought both tables in the ring right yes he brought two tables in the ring he power slams brock through one mm -hmm. um and kane then... kind of lazily pushes Braun <laughs> into the other one he just rolled into it and it fell apart and even, they even made a joke about it on commentary yeah, michael cole's like uh, i guess braun kind of knew what was coming so he just and rolled laid into, into it, it. <laughs> um and uh but yeah i think braun gets knocked out of the ring by kane mm -hmm. unsurprisingly uh brock, oh yeah and then, brock lesnar attacks him from behind yeah he hit the f5 right on the announce table oh yeah that had happened on the outside mm -hmm. um yeah Oh, Braun got that F5 on the outside yeah, yeah. the first time. Oh, and okay. then Brock throws the other announce table on, on top, top of, of Braun. Mm -hmm. Corey Graves goes, he's dead. <laughs> That's it. No internal bleeding, just yep. he's dead. Yep. Um, and then Kane picks up Brock. Mm -hmm. Or does does Kane hit Brock with the choke slam under the announce table? Or does Kane no, attempt goes, to? Yeah, and then okay. Brock and reverses Brock, it into F5, was Yeah, it? I guess so. Yeah. Kane lands on the table. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. And then the table collapses. Yeah. So those tables are... Uh, they don't they don't break like they mm -hmm. used to. Yeah. Um, and then they go back into the ring. Mm -hmm. Strowman's kind of on top. Um, Kane tries yeah, to attack a him. a couple of near falls there. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Brock enters the ring with Braun on the outside. Hits mm -hmm. Kane with the F5 onto a steel chair, if I'm and not mistaken. That was that. Yep, and that was it. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't a bad match, but on a pay-per-view with yeah. 
things with much higher uh mm -hmm. it, it's it's hard to to blame them from putting like a match like this on this kind of card mm -hmm. so agreed yeah all right and then we have the 30 women royal rumble yeah the main event the first one mm -hmm. uh so we learned that stephanie mcmahon was going to be on commentary yeah so that was that was something, something. Yeah, she yeah. filled the role of Booker T, basically. Yeah, she wasn't bad. No. At least she didn't try to make herself look good. Like yeah, no, 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 yeah. Booker's all about putting Booker over. <laughs> um, put the talent over, man. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, she didn't really play that much of a role, which is good, because yeah. at least she wasn't, like, hogging the mic time or anything. That's true. Um, this match had a lot more surprise entrance than the men's did. Yeah, and well, that was because they only had what nineteen set or eighteen, 18. with Alicia Fox being out because mm -hmm. that was noted, I think, in the pre-show that she was not going to be yeah. able to. Um, well, it's because the difference between the men's and the women's is that the men's they had announced people and then the rest of the roster, right. whereas this, the women's was, the announced people was the entire roster. Right. Yeah. Um, before the match had get started, Alicia Fox and not Alicia Fox, um, Alexa Bliss mm -hmm. and Charlotte came out to watch the match at ringside. Yes. Um, also, Maria Menounos was mm -hmm. the uh, guest, guest ring, ring announcer. announcer. Yeah. So she just announced the first two participants. Yeah. Which was Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. So mm -hmm. definitely a good way to start out the Rumble with two established competitors. Oh yeah, and uh, both of them lasted quite long. Mm -hmm. uh, Sasha was what final five? I want to say. No, she was four. Final four. Oh, she was fine. Yeah. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> yeah. It's not like we just watched it. I, well, it's true, but... <laughs> That's all right. I forgot something five minutes after it happened. Exactly. Not even. Exactly. So, yeah, like we talked about, we had a bunch of uh, mystery entrants. Mm -hmm. um, we had a handful from NXT, so we had, what, Kyrie Sane? I think it was only... Was just one? Yeah. Um, no, Ember Moon, Ember two. Moon, right, okay. Yeah, it was only two. Um, there was a lot That's of right. returning people. Yeah, though. so we had Lita come in at number five. Mm -hmm. so that was a big shock because yes. she had made it seem like she was an afterthought by the WWE because she wasn't invited to the 25th anniversary show. Yeah, but this was kind of, I guess, uh, just a work mm -hmm. to make it seem like um, she wouldn't be in the Rumble. Right. And um, then at number nine, we had Tori Wilson. Which was a big surprise because even though she was at 25, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think anyone expected her to come back and not, not really. wrestling a... No, that, that wasn't what she was really known for, was her yeah. in-ring ability. Um, she actually, for... Yeah, she looked great. Yeah, she really didn't put... She put in a pretty good uh, effort, mm -hmm. I'd say. Um, then we had uh, another surprise at number 12, which was Molly Holly. Mm -hmm. uh, there was reports, I think, earlier in the week that she had said that she hadn't even gotten a phone call from WWE, but it's not unlike WWE to contact you a day or two before and say, hey, can you come do this? That's true. So, they like to try. They like to keep things secret. Yeah. Um, also, mm -hmm. we had Michelle McCool. Yeah, and this was a surprise for a couple reasons. Well, she did a lot of work in the well, Rumble, yeah, well, too. In all fairness, of the returning people, mm -hmm. she is the most recent active WWE wrestler. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Because she, well, I think, retired 2012, 2013. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, I'm sure Alita's worked more recently. I'm almost positive yeah, she yeah, has. Yeah, the independents. Um, and who knows? I don't know about Molly Holly. I don't think she wrestles anymore. That I'm um, not a hundred percent. Because I know that I know that Trish doesn't. I know mm -hmm. that Kelly Kelly doesn't. Mm -hmm. I know that um, Vicky Guerrero doesn't. Yeah, Vicky Guerrero came in at number sixteen. Yeah, and she came out with her excuse me thing. Oh yeah, that was annoying. And then everybody just teamed up and threw her out. Yeah, she got eliminated by like everybody. Mm -hmm. I think Michelle McCool got the. Uh, well, McCool, got... Lynch, Banks, oh, no, was... and Riot all got the yeah the credit for the elimination. Um, but yeah, it. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yep. Then but, we had Kelly Kelly mm -hmm. at number 19. Jacqueline. Jacqueline at 20, 21. 21. Um, Beth Phoenix at 24. Mm -hmm. Her and Nia Jax went uh, face to face. Yeah. Which was pretty cool because, mm -hmm. again, like you had mentioned, that Beth Phoenix is much bigger than you would have thought oh, standing yeah, she, next to uh, face to face. I thought she with was Nia relatively Jax. short, yeah. but apparently she's almost as tall as Nia Jax. Mm -hmm. uh, she was actually able to pick up Nia Jax on her shoulders. Yeah. Um, and almost eliminated her, but mm -hmm. it was inevitably unsuccessful. Yep. Um, and 27 and 28, we had the Bella Twins. Yes, which was somewhat 
not really surprising, but at the same time, kind of surprising. Yeah, we had half expected it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, both looked great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, Nikki don't... doesn't really look like she missed the beat, and mm-hmm. and Brie looked very good yeah. too. So yeah. Um, and then number thirty was Trish Stratus. Yeah, which was which was good. I'm, I'm glad she. Oh yeah. Came back for this she, one. She had a good uh, outing as well. Yeah, yeah, she looked good, and it was nice that they didn't just. I mean, besides Vicky. Everybody seemed to be able to hold their own. Even so. Kelly Kelly, surprisingly. Yeah. Because it, it was funny because it kind of looked like when she first entered, Natalia tried to throw her out, mm-hmm. but it kind of looked like a botched spot where she was supposed oh, yeah, to go right. over, but she didn't. Yeah. Um. So. But yeah, the final four was uh, Sasha Banks, the Bellas, and Asuka. Yes. And uh, what was it? The Bellas teamed up and threw... Uh, Sasha. Uh, well, Sasha out. first they teamed up to beat up Asuka a right. little bit, and mm-hmm. then the Bellas decided to throw out Sasha. Mm-hmm. Um, Brie had ended up on the outside somehow. Yeah. Um, and then Nikki was going to go after Asuka, but she changed her mind and she hit Brie and not eliminated Brie. Right. So it was just Nikki and Asuka. Yeah, and we all kind of knew the result of this one. Yeah, there was really no reason to give Nikki the win. No, not really. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, so Asuka is your winner. Win. Yep. Not a surprise here. No. I had picked both Rumble winners. so Lucky you. Yeah. What's my prize? Uh, nothing. Damn. Haha, uh-huh. sucker. So after the match, mm-hmm. out comes our surprise guest. No, no. After the match, oh, Alexa Bliss right. and Charlotte come into the ring. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess there's, Asuka's expected to pick which one she wants to face. Mm-hmm. And then she kind of looks at both of them... Like, she doesn't know who to pick. I want all the titles. Yeah. And then... Good. That's when we get our surprise guest. Yes. She was supposedly filming in, what, Columbia or something like that? I guess. I don't know. And Ronda Rousey made an appearance. Yeah. Um, This was a little uh, head scratching. Well, because we don't know what came of it. Yeah. I mean, it's possible things are being posted now. Yeah. Or put into place mm-hmm. for with the storyline, basically. Yeah. So she came out, you know, to a huge pop. Mm-hmm. Came into the ring, kind of looked at everybody, went to shake Oscar's hand. Oscar smacked it away. Yeah. Then pointed at the WrestleMania sign a lot, <laughs> and then look, they kind of looked at each other. And yeah. Nothing came about, and then she walked outside the ring and put her hand out to Stephanie. They kind of just held it there and eventually shook hands. Mm-hmm. And then Ronda left. Yeah. And that was it. They that didn't even it. let Asuka pick who she wanted to face. No. So. Well, she wants to face Ronda Rousey. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they'll have a match between Asuka and Ronda. It's possible. At uh, maybe like the Elimination Chamber or something. I don't know. So it's like I said, what was posted before was that apparently Ronda Rousey is all in on WWE. Yeah, but I don't know. It's her number one priority. Yeah, I don't know what that means, though. <laughs> So it's we'll not see. about the money. We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, we'll see. But fingers crossed. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't know. It's just Alexa is like the, uh, the tossed away child, because I mean, I don't. I guess I don't know, but she's still booked as like one of no, the strongest. No, absolutely. But I mean, Oscar and Alexa. Nah, that wouldn't really be that. No, I mean, we it, saw it, it on Raw. To, it wasn't a bad match. It has to be Oscar against Charlotte. Yeah, or. But then there was all the rumors of Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. You know, it could be a triple threat thing. match or something. That's that true, too. Sense. But yeah, we'll but it's just like, I don't know. It's just one of those things where this person just won the match to earn the title shot. And it's they, happened before. I know. I'm just saying. But this could be another case of them ruining a, a first-time women's thing. At least James Ellsworth wasn't a mystery yes, participant they, they had no men enter the women's royal rumble so mm-hmm. that's good for them yeah they, they did something right but, but yeah yeah no overall it was a really good pay-per-view oh yeah absolutely. um again just the men's royal rumble its placement just because there was so much speculation around this one with the daniel bryan having almost the highest betting odds to win the rumble like yeah and then even ronda rousey Having, having good odds, good odds despite the, the fact woman. that the continued in, uh, um, insistence that she wasn't going to be there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But yeah, like you said, it was a good show. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that was it. That was our review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.